All right, welcome everybody to another not exciting day of crypto trading. It's, we have put in another 24 hours of absolutely blissful, uneventful sideways action, right? And I just do want to confirm with everybody, I am still in a short. I'm still in a short from like 64, 60 ish up here, 64, 80 ish. I did pull a short. Oops, we're going to have to put that back. Uh, so I am still just kind of chilling in a short, just doing the same old, same old, just putting along. Uh, today, listen, there's there's not a lot to really go over today, so I'm gonna I kind of gonna go into a couple um, USDT. There's one chart, uh, two charts actually. I want to go over really with today and kind of just grind out for everybody. Uh, so first of all, let's take a look. I just want to let's rip through the daily right here, okay? So we're up on the daily. Let's black everything out, uh, see what we've going on, uh, what we got going on here. All right, so here's our uh, USDT chart. Here's our, I'm sorry, our USD chart on the left, USDT chart on the right. Uh, you know, pick your poison right here. Uh, so here you go. So we closed out this daily candle. Now, how do I look at this candle? Uh, falling wedge-ish, falling wedge-ish for sure, right? Uh, you know, quasi-hanging man, right? Could be a hanging man candle, you know? Uh, let's take a look at our volume down here. Uh, Coinbase uh, put in equal volume candle. So it looks like a Twin Tower volume candle. Uh, looks like over on Binance, we put in a little bit less, uh, less volume over on Binance over here. And uh, let's go down. We're going to take a look at our 12-hour candles. <coughs> Sorry. This cold has been kicking my butt. I've been doing my best to try to get some rest. Uh, inverted, uh, inverted hammer candle, bullish. Very nice. Uh, very nice inverted hammer candle over here on the uh, the twelve hour on Binance though. Look at that. Very nice inverted hammer candle. Very bullish. Good. Very nice. Okay, let's run down our six hour now. Hmm. Uh, same thing, same kind of, I would, I would actually call this an, you know, an inverted hammer candle. I would look at that almost the same way on the six hour, uh, uh, same thing over here. Now, this is a lot harder because this was, you know, kind of up the trend here. So, but, uh, you know, on the t smaller, I mean, it is an inverted hammer candle that could have played out as a bearish ca reversal candle also. So, you know, when I look at the daily, I mean, you know, is this a, is this a hammer candle at the bottom of a trend? Is this a hanging man? I mean, for a hammer candle, I would like to see that a little bit lower uh, with the wick down there. But, uh, you know, let's, let's, I, I still, one thing I want to do is I want to take a look at the volume. So volume did increase. Uh, let's go back. I want to peek at the volume over here. Uh, volume did drop on. So we do have descending volume over on Binance. All right, let's take a look at our volume. Uh, volume did tick up over on Coinbase. So Coinbase volume did go up and the volume did drop on Binance. Right? I hate doing these. Just the two worst exchanges to get volume metrics on. Uh, I really don't like getting volume metrics on these three. Let me add a third. I mean, I hate to go use, uh, let's do this. I'm going to actually add a third exchange here, All right? T, we're going to do, f ooh, should we do stamp? We'll do stamp. <coughs> I think stamp is USDT though, isn't it? Let's do, let's do stamp. Mm, a similar volume right there. Four hour similar volume. So they all look, they all look quasi the same. Right? I, I just, I like this, the volume on stamp and or on Phoenix a lot better than I like the volume yeah, yeah, we're going to go over, uh, it's, it's exactly where I called Raven yesterday. Yeah, I got my Raven charge. Yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah, nice little bounce. All right, sorry. So I want to just finish this out right here real quick. Just kind of breeze through these babies. 
All right, where'd you go? There we are. Um, so four hour, uh, good, you know, nice little pickup in volume. Uh, volume dropped, right? So, you know, it's it, it just more lateral movement, right? I mean, this is all we're getting. We're just kind of moving sideways here. And there's nothing, I mean, I honestly, it's just, we're, we're moving. There's the, the, it's good to see a little bit of volume uptick here. So this is good. Uh, but then the volume kind of died out a little bit. So let's see how this next volume candle plays out. We've got a long way to go here. And all right, so I'm just going to kind of run back here. I just want to run through my charts real quick. So uh, listen, easy came down, tapped off the trend line. Absolutely perfect, right? So we tapped off that trend line. This is our, uh, you know, this is what we had yesterday. We had this trend line. We had this coming down here. So we came down. We just and and, and it was funny because in the members area, I remember it was like five o'clock in the morning, right? It was five o'clock in the morning. Let me go find the vamp chat here. It was like five o'clock in the morning when we pegged that, and I was awake. Right here it is. This is my post at five thirteen a.m. Uh, I'm like, yeah, uh, you know, I, I I was like, no need to panic for the bulls until this breaks, right? And it just it's so nice being just you know it's just yeah you know you wake up you're like yeah see look there it is there's my arrow bink bears no need to bears need to break this right which is absolutely zero panic just such calm trading and then just boom came down touched it and then we just bounced right off it was just that simple just got the bounce right off the trend line nothing special just another regular old day of trading calling it you know like i see it and and that was that was a pretty good call i mean it was just uh I've, listen there's just no eh, this is bots that's all this is is bots these are bots these bots are just trading uh just scalping away just you know chipping away at everybody's money and that's all these are doing they're just shaking out the weak hands these are bots taking each other's money it was really that simple I mean, I, I have no, there, there's, like, I, I swear to God, trading has just become so easy, right? Trend line support bounce. Just too easy. Bots having fun. So that's all. I mean, that's all it's really going on. These are just bots. These are bots having fun. They're playing, they're making their money, they're having a good time, they're dancing around, right? It's like a bot dance party. That's all this is, just a bot dance party. Uh, that's all this was right here, bot dance party. And that's all this is right here, just a big bot, the bot dance party. And that they're just, they're having a good time. You can't hate on them, you know? Good for people if they're making money. Uh, so we just got the bounce off there. Listen, uh, now, I expect this bounce to come up, A, test the top of this trend line here, or B, come up, test the top of this trend line here. I still have very little, you know, I, I, and or it can get all the way up here. You know, they're, you know, the bulls now, the bulls need to break out of this right here. This is where the bulls have to break out of, right? The bulls got to get up and over this, all right? But then that just throws you up into this top trend line. So, you know, in the... In the chat, I mean, I, I put in the chat, listen, I'm not going to get excited over anything. And, you know, we've got to go way up here and break this vamp fib, right? To me, you know, you want to get me excited, you know, because this kind of does look, I mean, this, I look at this, I mean, I see a bull flag in here. I see a, 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 a bull, I, there's, I mean, I see a bear, I see bull, I see everything. I see a, just a mess, right? That's all I, I honestly, I just see a disaster. <clears throat> and I see that's exactly what's happening right here. This is just a disaster. And there's just no volume. It just takes a little bit of volume to get this spike up. I mean, look at this, just a little, you know, this is just a little bit of volume down here. And we got this nice little wick up, you know. I mean, God, getting excited over 30 points, what if, what does it come to? What have we come to here in crypto, right? When, you know, we get excited over a 100-point move and, you know, people start bashing bulls and bears and 
when the price moves 100 points. It's like, how do you get an I told you so on 100? And, how do you even get an I told you so on, a, on like a 200-point move? It's like, come on, man. You know, just, let's see this baby really, really churn out and move. And then, and then let's start calling people out. You know what I'm saying? There's just no need to be calling people out over a, you know, a, a, a hundred or two hundred point move. We need to we need to put in some real moves here, both on the bullish and or bearish side. But before anybody can start jumping up and down that your call was right or your your call was wrong, right? I mean, honestly, for me, you got to get this is this is. This is this is where you got to get to way up here, you know. And until I see that, yeah, I'm just I'm I'm still bearish. I'm still just putting in bearish, and and I'll just kind of break that down for you guys. Uh put in a beautiful little uh, uh, head and shoulders pattern here on the RSI. I mean, we saw this head and shoulders forming yesterday. Pretty easy. Came down. Just you know, once again, just kind of look at the all the consolidation in this area right here of bitcoin that just goes back i mean goes way deep and this is just draining everybody it's just it's actually draining me trading this right and i'm just kind of putting along uh you know just this good shot for alts you know some of the alts are getting a nice little kick in the pants right now so you should be uh playing some alts so here was my chart yesterday i'm still i still see this as bearish i'm still looking for a retest down here Still looking for a retest of this uh, 6,300 range over here on USD. Listen, uh, I've got my top side. I've got my bottom side. I'm just, I'm just playing it out, right? I'm just playing this out. This is, this is nothing changed for me, right there. Uh, histogram has told us not a damn thing has changed. Now we go over and take a look at our 12-hour histogram. We're just putting along here at, at, at zero, right? Just cruising along on the bottom right here. Absolutely just moving sideways. Bulls don't want to make a move. Bears don't want to make a move. Nobody wants to make a move here, okay? So, uh, Tether. Um, God, I don't want to make a candle. I'm, oh, my God. Look, a spinning top. It's going to fall out. No, don't stop. Stop doing TA on freaking stable coins. Stop doing TA on stable coins, right? We shouldn't be doing TA on stable coins. Uh, like I said, I think I talked about this like two weeks ago or something like that. I said the cool thing to do now is to, to start your own stable coin, right? That's the hip thing to do in crypto right now. You know, everybody and their mother is launching a stable coin right now, okay? Uh, now, this is the chart. I did a, I did a uh, secret session last night for the members, and I focused on this chart right here. This is my ADX chart. So my ADX chart, I still, still, still think, right, we're going to get something like this, okay? I still, 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 still think. This is going to happen. I'm just going to scoot this over here, okay? This has got to make a second top, right? I'm looking for this to make a second top before it drops. This is what it historically does. It does a double top. Now, I really hope that wasn't it right there, right? I hope this little double, that little notch right there was not my double top. See, boom, boom, dump. Right? Boom, boom, dump. Boom, boom, dump. I mean, this is what goes on over and over and over again. We've talked about this. So I still am looking for either a down, right? Down, come down, come back up, and then and then I'll be looking to short. I'll be looking to open, you know, a, a heavier short position, right? I've just got a small short position open. I don't even have much. I think I have like 20,000 contracts or something like that on, on BTC short. I haven't even looked in days, I haven't even looked in days, <clears throat> right? And I'm just I'm just sitting. I'm waiting for this to bounce back up. Once this bounces back up, once I see we get this confirmed bounce, and I'm watching for this on the ADX chart, once we get this confirmed bounce here, at that point, I will be looking. Now I'll be looking to short, right? I'll be looking to pull my heavier short to put a, a, a bigger short in. Uh, when I do see that, we're going to top out on this, right? And and I went over this with everybody last night as I was like, hey, listen, this is kind of the position that we're put in. I mean, this kind of makes a really good A, B, C, D, E here, right? And, and I kind of laid out. I went through and I dug up all these areas. I went all the way back here and I created a whole new segment chart, right? 
So I created this entirely new segment chart. You see the yellow line and the blue lines and the red lines and the orange lines. You see all these lines up here? So they coordinate with these boxes down below, right? So every one of these boxes down below here, you see the blue boxes, the yellow boxes, and the red boxes, right? So what I did is I went through every box and I set out different zones. So, okay, so I said, okay, if you broke this level right here, right? These are the these are the ones that topped out over this level. Then if you broke into the yellow level, right? What happens when you broke into the yellow level? Then what happens when you broke into the the red level, right? And I kind of just laid all these out. Do I, do I do this on the 12 hour? Yeah, there it is there. Sorry, one at one day. So it's on my one day. So if you look here, you can see how I laid out each one of these individually. So look, this broke into the yellow area here. Right, This one broke only into the blue box, blue box, blue box. And I traced down every single time what had happened when it had broken into these, these areas, right? The red area or the blue area or the, or the yellow area. So I traced these all the way back because I wanted to see what happens when the ADX does this. What, where do you go from here? Kind of a, a, a thing. And this is one of the things I was looking at now. It is very difficult and there are some there are some places where you can find where when you do break into the the yellow area, right? When you do break up in here into the yellow area, that you can't get a bullish follow through, right? And and, and you kind of got to go through this and here's one of them. Right? Now you had the fallout, right? But this was a bullish continuation pattern here for sure, right? Then you get this one right here. And see, this is a very bearish fall, very bearish dive out of the yellow area. And then, but you know, this did get a bullish continuation, but this is a very bearish fall out of here. This is a pretty significant fall up there if you actually go and do the percentage on it at the time. Now we broke all the way up into this yellow area. Now, yes, it happened because of Tether. But I'm also using the tether wick to create this new wedge right here, right? So you've got the tether wick right here, right? Let me pull this off. There it is, right? So with this wick, you do get a pretty good A, B, C, D, E. And you can go in here and you can pretty much count out A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, Cs. Count out all of your A, B, Cs. And one of the things I said is, okay, where is the bottom of A? And where is the top of B? Okay, is this the bottom of A? And we're looking for B, right? Or is A down here, you know, is A way down here, 6,200 or something? Then you're going to get your B bounce, right? Then you're going to get your C. So this is all what I was looking. This is one of the things I was going over last night in this chart. And this is where I was like, hey, this is... This, this actually makes a lot of sense. And I was trying to, uh, trying to use this in combination with this new blue, yellow, red zone chart to try to figure out where and what, you know, where, where, where we're looking for. You know, I was trying to say, okay, how can this ADX chart be bullish? How can this be bullish? Okay, now the, what it does, the first thing I do, I look over here and I say, okay, well, you break up the first time, then you break up the second time. So that's bullish looking for the second push. And I am, I am bullish looking for the second bullish push. There's no doubt about it. I've been calling this pump. I've been saying, where is this second pump, right? I, I want to see, look, one, two, right? Look, pump one, pump two, and then you're looking for your fallout after that, right? There's pump one. There's pump two here, right? Then you're looking for your fallout there. Pump one, right? Pump two, and then you're looking for your fallout. Same thing, pump one, pump two, fallout, right? Pump one, pump two, fallout. It's a perfect pattern. It happens every single time. Look, pump one, pump two, pump two and a half, <laughs> whatever, right? Pump one, Pump two, pump two and a half, whatever it is, two and a quarter, and then it falls out. But this is, it's beautiful. It just plays out every single time. Pump one, pump two, out, right? Pump one, pump two, down. Pump one, pump two, down. So, you know, pump one, pump two, 
down. And it, this plays out beautifully over and over and over again. So I'm just looking for this second pump. I'm bullish on this second pump, right? Very simple. I'm bullish on the second pump. I just want the second pump. Give me the damn second pump. Now, if you're counting this out as an A, B, C, D, E, this is you're, you're trying to find out, hey, where are we at in this A, B, C pattern in this wave D? This is what I'm hunting for. This is what the search is for. No one knows. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I am only bearish because of volume. I'm bearish because of volume, right? And that's it. I'm only bearish because of volume. Volume picks up. Boom, I'm, I'm bullish, right? Show me the volume. Show me the money. Show me the money flowing back into the market, and I, I, I'm bullish. I'm, I'm going long, right? I'm long on alts. I'm definitely long on alts. I'm actually holding a couple alts right now, right? I, I mean, I believe in some of the new projects. There's nothing wrong with that, but on these majors, these majors I have some issues with. I just have, I have an issue here on on where this is at and this is based on simple volume on money flow give me the money start showing me the money's going to get pumped back into the market now second concern i have is when we get a bottom where's the bottom here's the bottom every single time this damn chart thank you nebraska is called the bottom every single freaking damn time all the way back all the way back it called the bottom all the way back, right? Now, one thing I am looking at when I look at this chart, I mean, any person with a little bit of common sense, the first thing you do is you just say, oh, you know, how often do bottoms happen, you know? You know, how often do these bottoms occur? Do these bottoms occur all the time? Do they occur, you know, what, what happens? You know, how often do you get a bottom here to where you're looking for these bottoms? Right. And they, they happen pretty, you know, I mean, it, they're they're legitimate. Right. These these bottoms get called legitimately. Right. And here's another one. You know, just keep going back here. Right. This is a pretty long one. I'm, I have to I have to go back and double check that one right there. Right. I have to get, but I do believe that it's a bottom, you know, but if you go back. I mean, this thing does a really good job of calling these bottoms, right? It does an excellent job, and you can sit here and you can map them out, right? Every single time it calls the bottoms. Now, these bottom ranges have been oscillating here. They've been running in a pretty short time frame. So they were short 55 days, 69 days, 50 days, right? Now, it's been a minute since we've had a bottom. Right, so if we plop our bottom right there, I mean we're 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 at seventy days, right? Seventy one days, no see no bottom mo, right? No bottom. And now here's the thing, ooh, he, <laughs> ooh, look at this, ooh, yeah, yeah, right? Look where we're at, yeah. Now, can this break up? Of course this thing can break up. I mean, see, here here you go back here, 2007, when everybody and their grandma was going, ah! Your grandma was literally just throwing money at crypto and like a boss and making boss calls, right? Your grandma was making boss calls. I'll buy ICX. Yeah, I, I have a good feeling about it. Boom! And it just goes to the moon and your grandma's like you know, flossing in her new Lambo, you know what I mean? She's like buying two extra sets of Depends that day because she knows she's like the piss, right? She's on a fire, right? On fire with every call, every single call here on fire, right? Now, do I think that this pump right here looks anything like this pump right here? I have some amazing beachfront property to sell each and every one of you who do believe that those pumps are similar, and I've got it located right outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. Don't worry. Eventually, when California falls into the ocean, this will be prime beachfront location for each and every one of you, and I've got a sick deal for you right now, okay? 
because you are smoking crack. Right? You guys are smoking crack. Because there's no way that this pump right here or this one had anything to do with this one. And we're setting ourselves up for a lot of ugly with this one over here, right? I'm telling you guys, what worries me is that this tether pump just gave us more room to fall down. Right? It gave us a hell of a wick up, but it also gave us the ability to fall down, right? And going up when you go up. And the re the one of the things I like to explain to people is when you look at these this indicator, and the beautiful thing about the ADX indicator is it's like a rubber band system, right? It's a historical rubber band system, right? If you if you look at this. Look at this look at this system, right? Well, the first thing you see, and I want to just pop off one indicator here, right? Let me just pop off one of these indicators. I want to show you something here that's super magical, right? So the first thing I see when I look at this indicator is I see this, it's a rubber band system, right? It's like a magnetic rubber band system that plays itself out here. This is like a rubber band right and when this rubber band stretches right it it wants to come together it wants to come back together right this is what this is this is like breaking up with your ex and this is makeup sex right here this is what this is this is amazing makeup sex it's like the best you've ever had right but then after you do it you're like oh god such a what why did i go back to this crazy female right I'm not saying female or the crazy guy, whatever way you want to go about it, right? But the way these work out is these work out, they're just like a rubber band system. You stretch it out, you stretch it, stretch it, and then just snaps back on you, right? Like the, like the jaws of a bear, right? Like a bear jaws just biting down on you. And then this is what happened. Look at look at this stretch you had, the highest you had, the lowest you had, this huge stretch right here. And then when this thing snapped back, I mean, it was just a vicious snap. And this is the reverberations of that original stretch, right? So the here, what's happening is we've been playing out now. We've stretched this out, right? And what I don't like is I don't like that this hasn't gone kind of into the oversold territory. It's kind of stayed up here in this stagnant zone up here. Right, if you see it, it's kind of stayed up inside of this zone up here that's kind of historical support for it, right? And or I should say, this is a resistance. This is resistance right here because this is a bullish marker, so it can't break this resistance, right? Because it's this actually reflecting the top side of the price action, even though it's on the inverted side on the indicator. So this is the bullish line coming down here, testing this resistance over and over and over again, and it's getting tested. Now, the funny thing is when I look at this, people say, oh, wow, you know, we, we can't, you know, the resistance is 6K, right? We can't break. I mean, the support is 6K. We just can't seem to break 6K. And I agree. Listen, I'm 100%. I am convinced without a doubt that 6K is being absolutely defended. And if I had a gazillion Bitcoin, I'd be defending it also just like a beast. I'd be, I'd be laughing at you guys all day long as I was pumping and dumping on your asses if I was one of these big whale gazillionaires. And it's exactly what they're doing to us. But we know it and we like it, just like the, ex, just like the breakup sex, right? You know it's going to happen. You know it's going to be good and you're going to regret it later. So we're, we're, you know, we're just walking into this trap but here you see that this support down here or this resistance is consistent and it's being tested over and over and over again and it won't break. And that's this top trend line right here, right? You've kind of created a trend line of resistance with this top and this top and now this top right here, right? You've created a trend line that looks from here to there. Right. And unfortunately, I can't peg it to there because it just that wick just went wily e. coyote on me. OK, but, you know, you've you've created this resistance right here with this bottom side, right with the bottom side of this. Let me get rid of these. With the bottom side of this uh, where this indicator is. Right. So this one and we're going to mark this orange. Right. So we can. 
be, there it is, okay? So this orange trend line that's marching down here <coughs> is, is basically the bottom of this indicator as it continues to touch here and here and here and here and just runs right along here, right? It's just creating a trend line is all it's doing, right? A support or resistance, okay? So I, I see that the bulls have a resistance that they're trying to break on the top side over here. And the bears also have their resistance. Now, the other thing is that interesting to note is that if you look at this, you get a clear trend line also like this, right? You get a very clear trend line on your bullish indicator, right? So, I mean, this is a, within the area, within the margin of error. This is a very good trend line here. Now, if you look where this thing tops out, this thing actually tops out right here. So let's try to find where this thing tops out. Right there. Oh. And then this one is right there. All right, so then we're going to go like this. Okay. So it actually starts... This tippy top right here started right there, right? And then it went to right here. And we're margin of error, right? Because we broke through. So there's a margin of error there. And then we touched this one right here. So if you pull that same trend line through right there, now this also gives you a top line. This gives you a top side right there. Okay, so now you also see you've created a top side trend on your top side of your bullish push using your bearish indicator okay okay so you got a bearish indicator there so all right so now we're gonna so this this gives us a good top side view now that's a hell of a freaking run right there it's a hell of a run <laughs> it's a hell of a run right there 75 7600 now can we go to 75 600 of course we can right have we not tested back down here you know, we've bounced off this trend line a few times. I, I think anything is possible at this point. I, I, like I said, it takes so little right now to make to, 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 to make a run. There's just so little volume is needed. And man, we've had a bunch of good news lately, right? You know, you, the back thing and there's just a lot of good news out there. Right, and you kind of there's there's your new triangle right there, right? So we're gonna we're gonna turn this one into that, okay? So actually, that's yes, yep. So we'll do that. So you know, my thing is, I I want to believe, I want to believe that we can make the run to break this, right? I want to believe that we can be bullish in this scenario, okay? I do. I have a hard time because with this indicator running up a second time like I expect it to, right? Like I expect this to, right? Like I have been saying over and over and over, with this running up here a second time, I truly feel that it is almost creating a short scenario that would be just massively detrimental, right? I mean, you're putting yourself in a position now where you have run your ADX chart all the way to the tippy top and a fall from the very tippy top, you know, would be pretty much almost catastrophic, you know, in nature, Right, it would be pretty catastrophic in nature to, to have this fall down and to test some kind of a new lower low, right? But I am 100% bullish on this bull on this pump on the ADX pump, and I will continue to say it. I still think somewhere in here we have an A and we have a B, right? And will our B be right there and our A be right here, right? I think that's that's totally plausible. Right, and then we get our E there, right, and then a fallout, something like this, right? 
A down to this trend line one more time. 63.57, bounce off, right? Hit this trend line from the top side, right? Hit this trend line from the top side right here. Bang, 60, what is that? 68, 6,900, and then down, right? And then pull, put in that beautiful ABC pattern, and then we'd be done, right? Um, you know, I, I back to, uh, am I expecting back to bring in volume? <sighs> yeah, but remember, back can also short the market, guys. Back can also short the market, right? Back can definitely short the market. So I, I think this is this is it. This is like the main thing I wanted to go over today is how I was sitting both bearish and nor bullish in this marketplace. And I think this ADX chart is really the defining, what is defining the movement coming here for me in the next, I God, I don't know. It depends on how long the sideways action wants to continue, right? But, uh, you know, I mean, and, you know, my other thing is you get the 200 up here. You know, the 200 also makes a very nice little target, right? Makes a great little target right here. To plop up there and and whack out that 200 before you you turn around for that drop right there right you got the 100 you got the 200 you got a you got a bunch of you got a bunch of areas I mean I, I'd like to get up and do one of these things right here you know this is kind of what I would like to see happen right here and this would play out my ADX. Uh, a vision, my vision of what the ADX chart would be, right? And then this fall down here back to test this 6K, this trend line down here would be my 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 fallout of the ADX, which would be my short. This is the kind of the dream short I'm looking for right here, right? So uh, it's it's pretty simple. This is this is how I'm looking at this. This is what I'm looking to play out, and it only takes a little volume to make this happen, right? Hmm. So, so that's it. That's all I got for today. And I just wanted to go over this with everybody and just make sure everybody kind of had a good understanding of what I was looking at and, and where I'm at and what I'm, what my thoughts are. All right. And I'm going to stop the recording. So we have a nice short video for everybody to watch later and then I'll take some questions.